Hello and welcome. Welcome, welcome. We finally did it, ladies and gentlemen. We've gotten through the backlog. Today's episode, the one I'm doing right now, is going to be... Um, it is going to be airing the same day I'm recording it. Every other episode, I've had so much lead time on and whatnot. So, finally, opportunity to get back into the game, play some more episodes, get to the next tier of difficulty. I think that you always have to start with the Red Planet Away. It's the basic one where you go for points, which can be a lot of things. Idealistic, I've been warned that the difficulty scale from elevated to idealistic is huge. I'd like to see a growth strategy play out. And let's talk about... Um, do we have the nitrates, Lord? We do. Increase your nitrates by three and you get a bonus one. Don't mind if I do. Um, why are the rocks in my capital? How dare you? I'm just going to put this here. And I'm going to make this central building go insane for food. Should get food pretty quickly, and we will be off to the races. All right, tritium, love it. Want some more of it? Already used this turn. Let's go. Let's start getting some new cards. More food production is really good. We also really like energy production. Because there's so much tritium around and not that much water, let's actually get a little bit of energy going on the side here. Nitrates, we love some nitrates. And next turn, we'll have enough for our tritium thing. Perfect. Uh, we don't mind getting a little bit of food as well, though doubling, yeah, I think we want to go for the food start. We did choose a growth start, not an energy start. So let's do this. All we need is a little bit more on the nitrate and we'll be good to go. We do need more um, building slots. So that's gonna be a little bit tricky, but if we just go for food and energy in our main city, that will kind of cover us on the basics. And then we can go for more interesting builds, like for science and stuff later. Maybe we want some science on the side. I'm not sure. I don't think we want another soil factory. Let's go get the last nitrates that we need to be able to get this food structure. So now we're up to four food coming in. We love it. Um, I'm going to import a titanium for energy just so that we have enough food next turn uh, for a enough food next turn to build one of these habitation modules. But know that I don't really want to be trading away that much energy because we know that can be an early game choke point for us. So let's stop trading that away. We'll start trading away food. New Mexico has now grown. Don't mind happiness. We have elevated expectations. They're going to go up soon. But I think that another energy makes sense. And if I'm going for an energy start, let's go get this tritium mine online. I know I'd love to get the nitrates boosted as well, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be good. Um, also, as far as where we want to expand, we can see two climate zones. This one has minus one. This one has minus three for temperature. So we don't really want to expand to the south in the long term. Let's get 10 titanium coming in because that's the hardest resource to come by these days. Go here, Rocky Plains. A lot of heights. And by heights, I mean, obviously, the high plateau. Meaning that if we can get buildings that synergize with that, we're off to the races. Now, drones are really good at, at launching you forward in the early, early game. So I think that we have to go for drones. Just because even though we're doing growth, it's going to take a while before we have enough uh, food to grow again. So instead, let's go ahead. This is an energy sector. So let's put this down over here. And now we have two more expansion locations. Let's get that nitrates because we know we want food production. Not sure where we're going with the next one. So we'll hold on to this expansion for now. Though we could go for a happiness thing. I'd rather go for early game production than some happiness. An early food uh, and energy structure is expensive, but it gives a lot of happiness, and that's going to keep us ahead of that elevated um, need. So let's keep moving along. Rich soil. So this nitrates mine, 
would give us an insane amount of nitrates because we're going to get two more, which would hit our three break points. So then that means that we get three more for eight energy. So we need titanium, but we also need a lot of energy. Let's export for energy and we'll start exporting nitrates, I think. Though tritium for a power generator is also high on my list. Don't mind me some food. So food production that gets boosted. We need a lot. We need energy and titanium. If I go down to here. Lava tube settlement. And that is another climate zone. But again, it's like a minus three one. So I'm not that keen on it. Then we expand to the nitrates mine. It's a little bit far out, so we get a negative penalty to happiness. But now we have four nitrates production. That is insanely good. Let's do that exporting instead of um, instead of exporting our food. Just because we're never really going to need to worry about our nitrates again. Like That is so much production this early. Um, An energy structure would be really good we need silicates for that but it's going to go between my two power generators to get the next power generator we need tritium so we're going to get the tritium we got some food as well we need a little bit more tritium or no we're good still let's expand all the way up to this northern climate zone see if it's a place that our people want to live it is zero temperature and the oxygen is also at zero which means that we can really make this a habitable location that's really good news and now this spot here is set up for our resonance station that'll give a plus two boost overall okay very good foods coming in we're importing some energy we need sustainable titanium but we're working on it i don't really want that don't really want that either. I think we'll just take a trade port. We don't really have use for any of it right now, but that's fine. We do have a lot of food coming in, which means that we should be trying to find another place to do a settlement or just focus on getting another habitation module. It's probably going to be a habitation module just because we're not ready to expand, really. Uh, we'll go to the left here. Oh, a crater. That's in a not so bad zone, but there's no resources near it. There's some black sands for some silicates. We could always start our city here and then move it to another location. It's not a strategy we employ often, but it could be good. Energy is something I really am a fond of, whereas this lady here gives you a huge bonus um, if you can get to 800 happiness. It's actually massive. But we're so low on energy that getting an energy producing person makes a lot of sense to me. Let's get another food. I know the happiness would be cool. Yeah, the happiness would be cool. It's just spending our science, which we don't have that much of. Um, I think we go short term with the ability to create energy because we are at a huge deficit energy wise we're importing what we can but it's not it's not great oh i didn't mean eh, yeah it's fine um i was thinking about doing this crater but having another expansion here and getting the landing pad is another way of correcting our economy that's a huge titanium deposit my lord all right, so now we have another trade. Let's keep exporting nitrates. Gustav, fun guy. More connections is fun. Automatic exploration is really fun. Um, we'll take the automatic exploration. It's going to be hard to get down, but... That's fine. How... Let's do a scan, a long distance scan up here. We did find a crater, because this is a good long term location. What about in here? What's going on? Large meteorite. I mean, the gigantic mine. Like, that's so many resources. Maybe we should get in this lava tube settlement. Just for the titanium. 
hard to say. Uh, zero temperature. We know that exists. Take this one. Um, uh, what do we want? I don't think we need food. I think we take the bonus to getting different cards. Didn't really help. Still not really what we wanted. I mean, energy production is fine. We just don't have that much expansion capacity. Like, we don't own a lot of land. But we are doing a growth strategy. So, it could, could become relevant. The drones will help with that. Let's keep scanning. This is starting to look like a really good resource extraction location. Not to mention just, um, we could always build up New Mexico with that drone hub as well and look to get the scanner, the microbes and stuff. Not sure. Modular. I think I'd rather take the food and happiness because we have a lot of nitrates. All right, let's have a peek. More food, even great. Look at all this titanium. It's insane. And a silicates deposit. Okay, well, let's... We don't have enough water to found a city. Let's use our long-distance scanner. We got six water. And there's an aquifer up here. That's really good to know. Lava tube settlement. We we'll found a city. Montevideo. Good stuff. This is a silicates deposit. We like that. And then we'll put a structure down. And that's fine. And that's fine, yeah. So now we have silicates coming in. That's going to help get that resonance structure online. We do need more science cards in general because we have no science income. I think now's the time to get our five energy. It's going to allow us to build. Well, it's only going to get us a drone hub right now, but that drone hub is going to get us a couple, the gigantic. And we need so much energy and titanium for this. It's, it's actually going to be freaking difficult. To get that bad boy online. Ay, ay, ay. We'll grab a science thing, but. New Mexico. I don't mind upping my science production a little bit here. I just don't see it being amazing. Drain more energy. I mean, this requires 12 titanium. That's insane. We need it though, so stop importing energy and start importing titanium. All right, so here's some energy production. It costs my silicates, but it still would get me two energy production if I put it on a high altitude location. Unfortunately, I put my landing pad there. I could move the landing pad up. Worth talking about. Um, honestly, just growth with the food is probably good enough. Three people live here. Let's put another person down. With more connections. Then let's scan nearby for some titanium. Love it. And then... There's even more titanium and energy down here that we'll scan for. We have 12 titanium. Now we need energy, but we need so much titanium that we're just going to go another round and really get this going. Um, This isn't even the worst time for, for some of this. Oh, God. 
a lot of those cards are things that I like. We're going to take the energy. We're going to get the deep core mine. And now we're going to talk about this. We have science, but we have no science production. We could get science production, but we have nowhere to build it. We could get a landing pad. It'll be more titanium, but we have a spot available for it. The hospital could go in New Mexico, but it's not really needed. Let's get um, let's get the landing pad, and we're gonna put it there as soon as we can. We're importing a lot of titanium. We're creating a lot of titanium. Yeah, we're gonna be in a good spot. Ooh, a road paver. That is interesting. It goes really well with like the buses and stuff. So that's that. Do we want more titanium production first? I think so. And then a road paver will do well when we settle a new location, perhaps up here. And then we'll just connect everything, build all these sites. I like it. We have no energy. That's why we chose this leader specifically, so we could get energy. It's fine. Oh, I didn't use my trade port. My lord. All right. Animals, no. Titanium, yes. I know we have lots of titanium production now, but too bad. Division of labor, I'm not sure. Um, let's scan all the way up here. We don't have enough water to settle this crater, but let's just finish... Let's get finished exploring around it. This settlement has a lot of people living there, so comfort of living really matters. I think we take the comfort of living, plus one for every robot we have, and we throw that in. That's two. Comfort of living times four, so that was eight happiness. Now whenever we destroy a rock, by the way, we get a titanium which is really, really helpful. No energy for destroying rocks, though, of course. Okay, trade routes, trade routes. Let's keep exporting nitrates. See how much we have? Like, it's absolutely building up like crazy. Um, This might... Mm, no, we'll go get water from the board. We're not going to worry about, about it, especially when all of our stuff is broken. Oh, my Lord. That cost me... A lot of the food that we had I don't mind a space project to get science because science is something that we could really use um, even if it's using a resource I wanted to up my energy production with okay where is the water at I said we were gonna get it from the board was that a lie no it is not a lie oh but there's negative happiness on everything that would depart from this city. So let's focus on the south. Three water, that's nice. We did fix everything, right? No, we need more water for that. Okay, well, no, we also need energy though. Yeah, it's just we're busy, we're busy days. I really like the one that gives us heat, the microbe for heat, that's really good. Uh, a lot of drones, like that's fine where is the water at it's over here a lot of aquifers we could talk about that let's found this city and yeah we're gonna get a road paver we're not going to be able to use it right away. Well, actually, we're... I'm going to also clear a spot, though. That way we can get a little science going here, a little road paver going here. And now, when we get this titanium in, we're going to be in a really good spot. And by when we get this titanium in, what I'm really actually saying is... We're gonna do three silicates to get even more titanium. So now we are good to go. I don't think we need more nitrates, but it's still a resource that we're trading away quite happily. 
come down here, get an exploration center. Lava tube, good to know. I really like getting mines. But energy is so critical to us right now. Let's do it and take a happiness hit to go hook up this high altitude location. That felt right. We need to create science per turn. But we also need silicates to afford that science. This needs to grow so that we can get to the silicate mine. It's a mess. Um, but I think it's time at least one of these trade routes can be diverted. In fact, I think two of them should be. And we'll start building our engineering space lab. We would like even more trade routes because we have a huge surplus in certain materials and a deficit in others. So, something that we got to keep in mind. This city is going to be super happy though, so we'd be we'd love to expand this one out substantially. Also, we can create a new city. I'm not sure that it's all that important to do. Let's just make a happy location here. And I'm not going to worry about hooking up this nitrate, so we don't need it for the win. So we'll just make an energy production out of it. And uh, keep exploring. Even more food, my lord. My lord. All right. Let's uh, let's look into some new climate zones and see if we find something we like. This is fine. Not negative or positive, really. Start importing silicates. A resource we never really managed to have enough of. New Mexico. Yeah, Montevideo. Eh. We have a lot of energy now, which is a really good flipping of the script. Let's go up here where we can find... Ooh, flat plains. With a water deposit, a food location, some natural sites. This might not even be that bad. It's very low-lying uh, low in that... The water is going to be a problem up here. But we could just dike all this up. We should start on the terraforming, though. We are taking an absolute ton of damage um, from expectations. I didn't actually realize just how bad it was getting so quickly. Hmm. Why are we so unhappy? Just expectations. Wow, like it people were not lying. The next level of difficulty is quite the spike. I can now settle this flat plains, but I'm worried because it's negative two and I don't really know that I can handle that right now. Let's get a development center. And that'll give us more options for card grabbing. And then this makes people supportive. We got problems, yeah. We got we got mega problems right now. We're gonna have to take the support, and we'd like to get the oceans up because that would make people happy to see that we're moving in the right direction. Hmm. We got a lot of food. 
this would be a lot of happiness so let's just keep the happiness coming up and getting some more titanium i think is it's pretty important. Black sand dunes. That's a lot of silicates. It's a lot of silicates. Um, sure, we'll do it. It's we're gonna lose a little bit of happiness, but down here, up here, we have some science production. So let's go ahead and boost it. It's really not that good. You know what? And then I'm going to trash my silicates even more. We're going to not worry as much about this science project. And we're going to rush the uh, the one that actually terraforms the planet. Because we have to show some progress. And then we can talk about what city we're going to expand to next. A happiness building, a food production building... Hmm. Good places to settle. These are all negative. This one's fine. Flat plains. So zero. Despite being zero radiation protection. Uh, get some water while we're looking. A lot of aquifers over here as well. Thing is, once we drop this ocean, we're going to lose a lot of access to this land if we don't settle on it and dike it. Pretty, pretty crummy. Open leader panel. All right, hope. Oh, you know what? Both of these are good. So, hope gives us... Plus one support for every eight buildings, right? Eight buildings is quite a few, but a plus support here and there is happy. Spending eight water can be like an emergency button to stay in the game. Not super great. Uh, support per population, that's fine. It's it's pretty good. We can get like 40, pop, 40 happiness. But this one here, A, can get us habitation modules, whatever. But it's plus one support for the 13th, 14th, and 15th structure. So, like, we get one support right away for building something here. We get more support for finishing up this area, and we get more support for finishing up this one. I think every location, right, this is six, this is seven, and then there's two more. So, that's 15 total locations. So, it's the last three give you a bunch of happiness. Not saying that that's what we want to do, especially when we don't have many things that we can build in town. And our buildings suck. Are we going to be building things in this climate zone? I don't even know. don't even know. We need to get our terraforming happening. Both of these are fine. Hope gives us the emergency button for happiness, though, so I guess we're going to have to pick that. Um... I was going to put the spreader down, but I'll take the turbines. And then... And then what? I could move... I could shuffle this down and this down, put a, a building over there, and then this would give me plus six happiness, but... Let's see if this uh, quality of life stays while it's moving. It does not. That was not worth it, my lord. All right, we made a, a mistake. And what's the population considered? It is considered to be four. So we could do a rallying speech, but first let's just go find some lava tube settlement stuff, things that make people happy when we find them. Uh, more exploration and stuff. That's fine, too. A lot of energy and a lot of titanium. Yeah, we need a lot. We need a lot to save us right now.
This climate zone is so happy to be here. And this is plus four happiness. Let's make this the next city. I know there isn't that much great stuff to settle around or on. Oh, we need 30 food. That's next turn. Okay. Okay, we are bottoming out in terms of support. Not sure what we want here. Um, all right. Is there new city enthusiasm? Where does that go? I don't know. New portal prince, you're happy to have something nearby you. Let's tear some things up and get you. I was thinking the paver made sense because you would just connect to the three next locations. Right? One of which is guided tours. We like that. One of those could be happiness here. Less important. Uh, one of them is another exploration location, which we're going to use. Well, we're going to use one down here. Get some water, whatever. No biggie. But over here, we're going to go for this happiness location. So that's some short-term support. Um, is there another happiness location? There is. Let's scan that as well. So that got us a little bit back on the path. I'd love to have some more food, but we just don't have it. I'd love to have... You know what? Oh, that's the seed vault. Never mind. I thought it was the nitrate. Though I don't need more nitrate. We got 96 of it. Like, we got so much of one production. It's a bit busted. It's a bit... A bit busted. Um... Let's keep exploring then. I was thinking about giving a speech, but no, no, no. We got to keep moving. Maybe this flat plains could be something we mess around with. Oh, I love this happiness structure as well. We have a lot of titanium coming in. This is going to be difficult to do, but we do have the tritium. This is half complete. All right, let's grab these projects instead. Now, I don't think I can end turn because we need to play them or lose them. Losing happiness for energy seems like a bad idea. And yet. And yet. Let's do it. Because <laughs> this city is not going to get built up that high. So I'm not worried about them being a little bit on the upset side. 50 support. Honestly, the oxygen factory could be incredible. The only problem is that we have no tritium because we're handing it all out. But it honestly it terraforms so fast that we should talk about it. Um. Yeah, crap. There's so much going on here. I really do want to give a speech. in New Mexico 40 support it's another turn what do we got here come on 20 tritium like are we really gonna do that how are we where are we even gonna get the tritium the thing is we have two mines for it it's just that we have a big project that we're building And we should get this microbe spreader. I don't know what I was thinking. I was about to play something else. All right. Let's refuse just to buy some time. It's bad because it would have really helped us. But this is the first time, the first game that we're playing, where we actually feel under some level of pressure. Which is fun. We like that. Grab some things. Thinking about settling in here. 
Six water is nice. Look at all these aquifer, man. It's gonna be great. Mama man, my man. You could expand. Look, you expand to here. That's good. Then we throw down the spreader of bacteria. That's good. This gives us prestige for building it. So fine. Like, you're happy now. Ish. Oh, the guided tours. That's going to help a little bit. Then we have enough water to go all the way to the hydroponic farm. Which is really powerful. It's a lot of food. And we have a spot for it. So I know we have this oxygen atmosphere creator thing, but let's go for more growth more faster. This section has things in it, so the seed vault does make a difference. It gives us a science. 30 food. I mean, we've got a lot of food coming in. A lot of food coming in. Do we need more silicates? We have in the past. We may again. Let's wait though because the hub might do us some work here we need happiness and potentially energy but mostly happiness let's look at what these can scan you can get to a happy place love it you can't really get to a happy place so let's just do something nearby you are gonna scan near our crater look at all this water my lord my lord so next turn we're going to these flat plains incredible incredible port au prince you could grow though and that would cost us Do we want you to grow? Kind of? Canyon view is nice. Alright, yeah, we'll put off that water expansion in favor of canyon view. Because this will give us, like, the six happiness here, plus one for the canyon view we expanded to. So that was pretty okay, actually. Let's, um, let's talk about the fact that all these are going to be underwater if we don't up the dike level. So up here on the top, and up here weird bit button pretty hidden oh does this dike it completely now did you see that it was at level one right like one and then this one went up one level but when i clicked the ones in the planes it went up all the way in one click these ones said one level Hmm, maybe they updated it, but not the tooltip. Maybe there's a, a bug, a glitch. I'm worried that these are going to flood. We aren't worried about ocean level over here, though. I'm just really cognizant of the fact that we have um, trade routes that are going to be doing things soon. Okay, I really want to expand to this, but we need to not spend all our food every round. So enable that's a hundred support we love it so this this place is fine it would have flooded but we were we were good about it let's talk about the fact that a second seed spreader could be incredible for us and this is fine too um i need food we're gonna have food next turn new montevideo let's talk about you Unfortunately, my happiness building takes food. These all take food. This takes water. I also need water next turn. All these locations go out. These take a lot of science. It's a weird place to be. Let's get more water, though. Underground frozen. So that pushed up some of our things. Good. Let's sell this. Is that enough? 
what is under regional flooding? Oh, no. Can I undo this whole turn? No, I can't. Wow. Seriously? My Gigamine is going to freaking die? That's so lame. I mean, we can move it to the gigantic aquifer over here. But now we need to settle near it to get... Like, this is what I hate. Like, I would have built the dike here if it had just warned me of what locations it was gonna be, you know? That's um, that's a tremendous loss to our titanium production. That sucks, that sucks. Trade routes unassigned. Okay, let's finish off this science structure in two turns. I still think we wanna come out here and do our thing. I love this. I want all of these projects, to be honest, but let's place a structure. Let's get some drones thrown way in the corner. We're going to go here for some happiness. We're going to go here to get some water. and put a seed spreader. How many locations can this take? Okay, one down there, one over here. So it's worth building multiple. In which case, let's do exactly that. Another seed spreader. This one's gonna be on a longer cooldown because it has to send its seed so much further, but that's good. The water's coming up. This is another 10. Okay, interesting. Do you have a happiness thing you can find? No. Go here. Is there an aquifer? No. I'm so annoyed. Scan over here as well. Sandstones. Okay. I think the bus station down here is going to do some work for us. So we're going to get a couple of sandstones and this guided tours are going to pop off. Now silicates for 30 heat is incredible when our heat is so far behind so let's let's get that going i know i want to build the orbital ring but it's just important to keep the ball rolling so that's great let's get that heat pumping uh i guess the orbital ring could get started now but i'm about to spend six of my tritium Right, and then expand over to the guided tours, expand again to some guided tours. That's giving us a lot more happiness than we had just a moment ago. Laboratory, expansion hub. Expansion hub down here would make a lot of sense. Let's have a peek at what we got here. A rover museum, that's some support. Really expensive for titanium and stuff. Uh, but it is worth talking about. We want an expansion location here. This gives us an aquifer extraction that we like. There's also spots here. Yeah, let's go for the expansion hub. That's fine. So that'll go... I mean, if I put it here... Well, it'll only give me two locations. Eh. We want to grow this city, basically, is what I'm saying. Also, that involves getting get more titanium... And this, and then a food thing. No, just uh, two more projects every turn. Uh, plus four for every location providing support. That's, or comfort of living. So that's support, support, and then, yeah, this, this touring company could be nice. We are like out of happiness. Okay, let's talk about that. You, can you find a happiness location? You can, perfect. 
This is not the worst place to settle. It's also not the best place to settle. At least the oxygen's coming up in eight turns. That's going to be pretty incredible. Let's come over to here. A crater. That made some people happy. Good to know. I think we need this drone hub thing. And this is a lot of atmosphere. So the drone hub, besides something for happiness, we can get it next turn. It's probably going to go up in here, up in here. There's also this rover outpost. We just don't have the energy for it all. Let's see. Trade routes, my dude. That is huge. Nationalism, also cool. But I think the trade routes are going to be much, much much more important for us this would terraform so freaking hard okay let's talk we go here we put in our drone hub dude we've got to expand extract the water and that's where we want to put an expansion hub. So we need more titanium. Looks like we should expand up to here. Because that's six titanium. Incredible. Incredible. And then this expands us. Once again. And then here. Now, here's the problem. Are we ready to go to the next water level? These two locations would flood, and we don't have the titanium for that, so we don't want to extract this yet. Oh, there's also a spot up here, and that's not even negative. All right, we have a lot of land for building on. That means something like a seed spreader makes sense. The problem is that there's no suitable climate zone left until we get a um our next level of water which is really close more science like do we really just want to keep throwing it away i think we want the nitrates it's gonna make unhappy though make people really unhappy but like we gotta do it we're so close to dead it's incredible how close to not being alive we are. Plus 20 support is freaking big. Doubling production is big. The crazy thing, it's actually crazy, is that I think that the doubling production is better because... Wouldn't we then have enough to make the aquifer spring up and we could protect our city? And we'd have enough energy for it all? I think so. Let's double. I mean, I don't know what our population on Mars is, but it's pretty good, actually. One, two, three. One, two. One, two. Like, that's seven, right? New Mexico has one, two, three, four, eleven. And then New Montenegro has one as well. So, you know what? Let's just play it safe. And we'll get a huge bonus to happiness. That gives us a lot of breathing room. Go over here. That's a bunch of titanium. In fact, that's enough to build the dike. And then to build this dike. And again, it went to full build right away. So, max level reached. Maybe the locations just, you know, don't need as much titanium anymore, I guess. Um, everything else has enough. Okay, let's go up here then. Do we see? I'm, I'm double checking, but yeah, I don't see any water problems. Remember that we have a huge water thing here, if we could just expand to it, which, I mean, we're close. Go near it with this scan. 
We could build a city out here and then connect everything up. All right. Extract. We love it. Seed spreader. Is it worth having this climate zone? No. So let's just put it wherever. And another tundra forest. I prefer to put it where I have, you know, people living, but that's just not possible. We're like literally jumping the middle with it. But that's fine. So that's a good start. We, what we actually need to do though, and I haven't talked about this yet, is get trade routes set up. So like the population here is three people. This gets a trade route for every three people. Let's do it. And then let's do that a whole bunch of times. Okay, happiness is something we're fond of. This is also fine. Um, you make people happy. We really would like to improve the quality of life around here, but where is the regional flooding occurring? What the hell? The game is telling me I have regional flooding. And it has no good indicators. Like, is this max level going to sink here, despite not telling me? I don't understand. Like, are you or are you not sinking? These ones are sinking. Why? Because you're glitched? So now... That one's sinking. Okay. Well, there's nothing I can do about it now, game. Okay. Rover, dude. You're relocating to a location near the front line that has nothing going on on it. All right. <sighs> and it did sink. All right, maybe this city should just move then. Eh, I don't know. It's in a really happy place and it has the natural wonder, so it's hard to justify a move. New Malibu. You've got enough drones for a trade route. You're also really close to having enough people for it. Also, we talked about getting you the touring company. Eight happiness, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. All right, now we need food that's coming in. We're going to be able to build the homesteads, I think. No, we have not even close to enough titanium. Um, in our main base, is there something we need less of in favor of the trade center? I think it's going to have to be an energy, unfortunately. There we go. So that's another trade route that we got. Rovers that give happiness aren't too bad. And then radiation shielded buildings, not too bad. Our happiness is way more manageable right now. It's in a good spot. Um, we need to talk about these, though. Really could use this. Because we have a spot for it right here. Now this spot here gives plus one food plus and then plus one to adjacent locations as well. So it would, it would only put this one up by one step. Never mind, it's not that big a deal. Though, is it Monty Video? Or is it... It's you, Porto Prince. You have a location here. Energy... 
food production. And now that made this thing a half price structure because we have at least five food production in the location. So let's, um, let's build one of those. And then a drone hub here would also make them happy, but I don't need to expand out of this location really. Plus it would use our titanium, which is a very precious resource for us right now. Only two population though. It's kind of lame. You've got three population though, so you should get a trade center as well. Oh, you already have one. New Mexico has one, New Montevideo. You're short on population and drones, unfortunately. New Malibu has a lot of good stuff. So fine. Right here. I really want to finish this. It's already finishing. Perfect. Let's export something we don't need as much of anymore, the nitrates, and get some more titanium in. Because we're hitting a blockage there on a couple of things that we could be building. Do we need nitrates? Not really. Do we need mine? I guess. More trading, more 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 drones. Atmosphere times 50, heat times 30. Is heat times 30 better than this? It's a different resource. Everything else is tritium, so I guess we don't need that. This is a good scenario. I like how um, how challenged it is. Like it's it's difficult. Uh, animals could do a lot to make our people happier. We need a level of oxygen, and I think that's actually possible up in here, right? Yes, it is. So, more trading capacity overall. Fantastic. We don't have nearly enough water. We should talk. We really should talk about founding this city. 50 atmosphere would make every population on our planet happier. So let's talk about that as well. And we'll start building these bad boys. So the silicate deposit could be really helpful as well. Can we get more titanium? We can get a little bit here. And then that gives us titanium and happiness. So then, coming back to you, you get the drones. That's what it is. The drones, that gives you the connection. The connection gives you this mine. If we hadn't lost our titanium mine at the start of the game, we would be in a good place. And then, this place has enough drones for a trade center to work. And the Trade Center can get better over time if it's given more population and more drones, which is absolutely critical. A happiness structure, not going to say no. These are really expensive. Really expensive. We'll just take whatever, but know that I'm not super fond of it. Mining or doubling. Honestly, the food production could be insane for us. Uh, we already have a heat microbe. Let's get an oxygen microbe just to get more prestige for having a mix. I mean, doubling all of our productions down here seems really good as well. But the food energy, yeah, that's just too much. It's too, too much to not get. Um, you down here. Let's do it. Um, I don't have enough drones for you, though, unfortunately, to get all the way to this water. Found a city. That's a spot that likes it. This spot comes with radiation protection, so he's really going to like it. Then let's expand. Get this titanium and the resource we need to build our space projects. 
and then bam right here mine love it and this spot has positive water uh so we're gonna be able to bring our shrubs over here as well how long are those out anyway four turns okay still can research a project more water import seems good but it's it's not really like we have a lot of water on the planet so it seems less important to me one for every two is not something we're doing so trade routes are good animal spreader like we already have one let's just not grab any of this we really need more water and it's right there where are the drone hubs at all right this is really good for us using our nitrates up this division of labor making people happier to be alive uh depending on the number of drones so that has three drones i think one of these locations though has a lot of drones port au prince no you three drones right here one in there i think so so science plus four on each we love it all right i don't know where this nitrates production needs to go potentially up here um are we not using some tiles we don't need this to be nitrate tile quite frankly it's not well suited to a number of things but how long do we have this leader eh, a little while makes me want to put a trade center down here before it's too late let's just see what's around the river bend here canyon view okay okay another homestead i mean 35 nitrates holy damn really does the terraforming good though doesn't it plus one power if the city produces at least three food that's so true so true this if i had one more would finish this turn the heat is coming up next generation whether we like it or not a mineral cavern do i not have any like drones here like what's going on modular apartments like i don't know boo a lot of people living here they seem happy with it oh we that's a science production thing Okay, it doesn't really matter. This can be our science capital, though. Uh, energy production. Do we care where the energy is being built? Get a couple of titanium for destroying these rocks, I guess. Throw that over here. Let's, because we now have three population here, let's throw the trade center down. And that's enough to keep this going we're importing a lot of titanium we got more trade routes um this location here is probably going to go for the spaceport do we want to use it as a viewpoint tower for now yes more terraforming that's important more homesteads that's fine now the heat's come up the water's finally not ice uh, which is cool extra science synergy it, sorry I, I guess it helps the population more um enable 30 more heat oh it also raises a climate zone yes 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 um so we definitely want to do it where i mean this spot doesn't need it we want to put it where we have a city and it's at zero heat which is very good this scanner is ready to go let's do another happiness location this is the same climate zone this is a new climate zone that's not too bad 
This is also a new climate zone I'd like to investigate. It's it's a really good one for water and heat. Let's um stop bringing in titanium and let's start bringing in some water and see if we can get that animal spreading to start happening. Start exporting you so much, maybe get rid of some of the science. We have 74 science, right? I mean, come on. We have a lot of trade routes. When did this happen? We have 11 trade routes. Are we amazing at this game or what? Um, we could spend some of our science as well. I like the hospital for the support, but we don't want to build it right away because we're not that high on those resources i think it's because the heat came up so our entire population also got super stoked yeah 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 okay we got another one oh yeah because i just built a building of course just take it as a science i mean i like all this as well 50 atmosphere don't mind if we do okay tundra where we have our city we love it we're so close to that water location i think it's time put this here we can put a happiness building in between if needed boom baby we got water we finally got water coming in my lord uh and this is our last turn with this man I think everything has a trading hub though so that's pretty much all i cared about so as these cities grow they're good to go the only exception is portal prince which doesn't need it man. right now though it's just connecting us to guided tours and our bacterial spreader we could always move it and be like hey portal prince come to this crater how long would it take to get there? Six turns. I guess we don't need anything here, really. All adjacent locations need to be explored though, okay. Let's um explore an adjacent location then. The number of things that we're grabbing here is a lot. Some of our trade routes are not assigned. No kidding. Um, all right, let's start building these things then. Needs a little extra to get there. Oh, baby, leader panel. All right, let's, let's go. Astral Temple, Space Pope, Jesus. He's a, uh, you know, team favorite as far as this guy goes. He's going to give us happiness for doing space projects, which, which we have a lot of production in. But also, we can put Astral Temples on in different climate zones. And that's going to lead us to the Promised Land. We don't need as much of this nitrate production. So, let's start throwing down temples. I guess we could have moved that mine. I should have moved the mine first instead of overriding it. Um, and we'll do a scan down here for some happiness. Uh, we can also build the hospital. That's fine. It goes here. Happiness is positive. Could you imagine? Getting more cards every turn is fine. We can build it right away, so I'll do it. Support for buildings that cost water? I mean, dude, we don't have that. We can still research or throw it out. We don't want it. And we don't want this either, actually. Get us out of here. Ah, there's a building that costs water that we're actually probably going to build. I don't know, the plant spreader seems really powerful as well, right? So. Maximum imports reached. Ooh. 
why why aren't I rushing this let's do that oh because I know I need water okay well we'll go a little harder on it then but not completely so we're gonna need more tritium to sustain that as well didn't really see any so we just took some happiness let's keep building no let's let's get over here and then move and then move our city <clears throat> it's a decent trek but it uh, is gonna be worthwhile yeah 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 have to tear down a lot of these rocks here it's fine we're getting titanium for it so all right good job relocating you bacteria spreader thing uh, it's not a great place to put you but that'll have to do and then guided tours Oh, you can't be moved. Well, sorry, Boo. I guess we could expand to you from here. We do have food. We could throw rovers down. Sure, let's throw the rovers down. It'll give us more trade routes. Um, and then we expand, and that makes you happy. Could also expand around here, but that's not needed right away. Doo -doo -doo. All right, that's relocating. I love a happiness building. I don't see it. We were talking about getting rabbits down, but let's just get more terraforming. It's fine. More food. Fine. I know we have this terraforming, but it makes us uh, unhappy. And what I could do, I can't put this here, can I? Yeah, I can. Six turns. Just get it out of my hand, out of my inventory. There we go. Great job, everyone. Space project, more housing. Don't need more housing, but it's what we're doing. How are we for points? We're doing okay. The terraforming steps are worth 100. The resources are worth 100. The support is worth 180, which is incredible. Um, I really like to get more astral temples. I don't want to get rid of my tritium mine though. You see, you see how that works. I guess it's fine. We'll take a minus one hit and get the Astral Temple. We want to build a lot of these because getting happiness is like... Oh, never mind. We want to build it here. Crud. Crud. Because this is in the same climate zone. Oops. All right. It's not where I wanted it. It's fine. It's fine. Um, you. Cottage. What is the ability, though? Per mine owned. You've got a couple of mines. You don't have mines. You have a mine. You have a couple of mines. Whatever, man. We'll, we'll do it here. We want happiness structures for this city, though, right? And they're just not, uh, not happening. I was going to get a mine there. We can't. Can I undo? Let's go up here. And that's where we'll place our astral temple. Lovely. Why are we offered so many projects? Like, obviously, it's because of the decisions we made to get here. But, like, it's a lot. It's a lot. Let's import some more of this. And then... 
export some of this. Mm, yeah, like this. More balanced while we build up some of our titanium reserves. Hmm. Okay. Lots to do. Always so busy. We'll get some nitrates. It's fine. Just filling in kind of our backyard here. Flat plains. Good to know. Another trade route. Let's do it. So these are continuing. This can't be sustained. Now it can. So this is a high up mountain. So let's move the launch pad all the way up here. It'll take a while to come back online. But then in that spot, we're gonna build a temple. Could have done it next turn apparently, but that's fine. I don't want any of these projects. Like, I, I mean, I like the courthouse, I guess, but everything else goes away. Support the climate. Let's build an astral temple. There's already one in this climate zone, isn't there? You monster. I got confused. All right, who benefits from being high up? The science location does. Alright, maybe let's talk about this plant then. I know that there's a climate zone out there that you would like. There it is. You're still three turns out. I mean, one comfort of living is now being multiplied by one, two, three, four. So putting down an astral temple is not that powerful right here. Rover Exploration Expansion Hub. You can't move the expansion hub. I already have a bus in here, I think. So let's just do this. And the expansion hub wasn't actually giving us anything. It just let us claim more tiles at one point. I don't want any of these projects. They're bad. They're not helping us do what we need to be doing. Trade routes are unassigned. Let's trade even more science and go back to hauling in water, hoping to get the ability to spread some stuff. So oxygen level increase, temperature level increase, everything's increasing. Rainfall two is probably not too bad. Haha. -ha. Um, now we have two heat, two oxygen, two of this, a bug apparently. This is gonna give us 50 more atmosphere. We're close, we're close to winning now. That just gave us a huge jump. Let's talk about another animal type. This is an exploration center. You're just, you're, you're done, man. I guess we can move you first, but like, I don't care. You've served your purpose. New thing right where my people live lovely that's giving us more prestige and more plant support and fairy development and everyone loves that um and we don't really need the energy anymore so let's well let's uh, once again we may as well move it first even though we don't care for it there you go go have fun Astral Temple. Who baby. All right. No space projects in here, unfortunately. A happiness thing is something I do like. We can't build anything right now. Let us finish this. Bring in a little bit of that. And... Very good. More water? Not sure. More unique resources being produced i don't know man i think 
I think let's move this plant spreader away. I think the most important thing to do is use our water to get some frickin' animals. Some bunnies, for instance, that gave us a bunch of prestige. And um, everyone loves bunnies, apparently. Even though they're so easy to have move in. Uh, that city's about to come down as well. That's going to up our happiness production. This city has a lot of population. They would enjoy a courthouse. Who wants an astral temple? Let's move this wind turbine. And put an astral temple here, I think. That does work. Okay. We are close. We're at 624 points. We would have won on the previous difficulty, the previous thing. Uh, and we are still at it and going. Let's grab some cards. Some of the trade routes are not being used. You're damn right. Let's start building this. This is pretty huge, actually. The artificial field. Every population on the planet is going to have like another happiness because of that. I don't know why we're bringing in tritium anymore. I'm glad we were because we can build these trading ports now. Though I don't know where to put them. kind of hard I guess I could just go up into here it's not gonna give us any like bonus or anything like that but it'll make the people that live there a little bit happier and honestly is that enough in our in our life to feel better about it this structure here is gonna make people happy we're getting really close like it's right on the cusp you think we can get an astral temple perhaps and Call it a day. Where is this spreader? I don't know. Okay, you come on down to here. And in your place, I'm going to put an astral temple. Is that enough? Oh my god, we're so close. Wait, New Portal Prince, you're going to make it work for us. Yeah, I should have put an Astral Temple here in that spot I talked about earlier. Oh, man. Oh, you? Guided Tours, is that enough? 97? 97.3. Um, can we build anything now? No. We were so close. We're, I mean, we're still going to get it on 59. Just by enabling this space thing. Boop. But it, uh, you know, took a minute. It took a minute to get here. But that's fine. Congratulations. Oh, yeah, the bug was that stuff over there. The water. Boom, baby. I think that that's still good, though. 59 under 60. Martian Utopia. Gold medal for us. Oh my god, why are we so good at this game? It's incredible. It's incredible. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Gold medals all the way through. <laughs> Ciao for now.